Wild folks. This is the Ramana Inn in San Diego, Mission Valley. And bus full of migrants have just arrived. This is wild folks, this is the Ramada Inn. And a bus full of migrants have just arrived and they're staying at this hotel. And I'm next door. And they're gonna load this bus in. Is the reception okay here? Share this video out. This is a big, big deal, folks. This is the Ramana Inn. In Mission Valley. And migrants that just came into the United States illegally are staying at this hotel, this Ramada Inn. Yes, it's all fenced in. It's all fenced in. There's people on this bus.
cars. Staying at the Ramada. Ramada. And they have the Ramada all fenced off here. Only migrants can stay at this Ramada. See how it's fenced in in the front? They don't want to let me look. It's all gated and secret. Now the bus is going to leave. And this happens all day, every day at this location here. Mission Valley. Have to show paperwork. There goes the bus. It's leaving. There it goes. Here's the secrecy, folks. Ramada in. The secret operation here. They got a security tent here. They got the whole entire Ramada closed off. Gave him a bracelet, a rubber band. Last group goes, I'm going to take you around the outside and just show you this perimeter fence. So they came in on a bus, opened up the gate, the whole place, now they're leading, leading them into the Ramada. Now they're in. This is the building they went in. They went in this gigantic Ramada, and on the outside, it's all this fence you can't see through. It's all this secrecy, folks. It's right behind the Homewood Suites. And this entire, this entire building, folks, is, there's lots of, cars in here and I'm going to take in the back there's pallets of water in the back there's porta potties in the back I'm going to show you what's going on how is this happening folks how do you just have this secret see this how do you have the secret gate you can't even see and this surrounded by gate here 
How is this even possible? I heard that this is ran by Catholic Charities. Look, they have porto potties here, uh, backos. What is this really about? What is this really about? We're going to go down here. I'm going to show you. See what I mean? Rent a fence. But see how it's all closed in. They don't want nobody to see. They don't want anyone to see. I'll take you down here. you to see. That was good I was able to live because I told you guys I'll be here. Look at this. The whole place is surrounded by this. They don't want people to see. But back here is pallets of water, crates, more tents. Look at this back here. What in the world operation is this going on here? Look. Ramada Inn. Got tent, porto potties. They don't want anyone to know what's going on here. We're gonna we're gonna get in my car. I parked here next door. We're gonna we're gonna drive around. I'm gonna show you this particular location. See what I mean? This whole building, this whole hotel is for migrants. Ramada Inn. So they literally are using this entire got pods, things in the back. Here, we'll go. We'll go out on the street. Yeah, secretive, secret, secret. Now what's even crazier is, I believe this is Ramada too. This is the Ramada too, there's two parts. There's two parts of the Ramada. This is the Ramada too. And this side, it looks like people are actually staying here. And then the second building next door is totally rented out for uh, people that come in the country illegally. You saw that bus. You saw the, the, the handcuffs. They got, they got their luggage off. They have to show their papers before they get marched in. And we're going to go out on the street here. And I'm going to see what's going on. I'm going to go see what's going on. So we're going to come take a drive with me. We're gonna see what's going on, but this is this is some really wild stuff, folks, and it's happening in San Diego, California. So pay attention, pay attention, pay attention, pay attention. Luckily, I was able to catch that bus. Right now, I'm told buses come in and out of there all day long. This is the Ramada here. We're gonna we're gonna. Oh wait, no, this is a different hotel. I'm sorry, sorry folks. This is Mission View Hotels and Suites. I thought it was the Ramada, but it's I, it's separate. It's a separate hotel, sorry, sorry folks. Because I saw that sign up there that said Ramada and I thought this was part of it. But the Ramada right here, it's all happening at the Ramada. This place. Ramada. See this place? Look, it's all entirely under this fence.
Wolf Park. Wolf Park. Wolf Park. So I, <laughs> it, <laughs> coincidentally, I stay. I was standing next door, and you could actually go up on their second and third floor next door and just look below and see what happened. We just saw a covert operation that they do not want us to see. Let me get this together, folks. Give me one second, and then we're going to take a walk. We're going to take a walk over and just, we're going to see. But let me check something real quick. Yeah, this is happening in Mission Valley. This is the Ramana Inn and Suites, folks. The Ramana Inn and Suites. All right, we're going to go. We're gonna go walk. We're gonna go walk. So this entire hotel is under these giant, they don't want you to see. They don't want you to see what's going on in here. Look at this. Dude, the fence is like 10 feet high. Hello? 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 He just ducked out of there. You don't want to see. Hi, is the is this open for business? Are we open for business? I'm on a easement. Is this I want? Is this hotel open for business for customers? Why? But I just saw a bus come in full of people. So is it open? You're saying it's not open to the public? Interesting. Very, very interesting, right? You don't want to answer. So, in case anyone wants to go check out, you can go next door. Well, I thought this was the Ramada, but you could go up there and look right down, and you can look right down into it. I should just keep my camera out here for a while. But at least we're sharing awareness in this situation. Now, I saw a public I saw a publication post about this a couple days ago saying the Ramada Inn and Suites in is totally shut down for the public for Americans and it's hold, holding hundreds and hundreds and hundreds of migrants every day buses come through and you just saw the process that the fence opens they don't want their secrets revealed and another one sitting right there
So how much is this operation costing? They got this whole entire place fenced off. I don't want you to see anything out here. Can someone see if you can book a room here? What is this all about? Right off of, uh, I think this is eight. Sarah just said you could check in. He said it's not open. What kind of, what is this, man? This is the only hotel that I know of in, in, in uh, San Diego that's doing this. Now in Texas, they were doing it at the uh, certain hotels in McAllen, Texas, same sort of process. And I think that also went through Catholic charities. The way the, way the news article I think it came from the Post Millennial. I think they're the ones that did an article about this, but they were talking about, and it just was a couple days ago. They said, fencing has been put up. Thank you, uh, Hot Dam. Fencing has been put up, and um, this place is hosting migrants that come in on buses. And you see, they gotta show paperwork. They got wristbands, uh, tags on their luggage. I go up at the top of the Benny Hannes. But I'm glad we got to see a bus. So anyone that's doubting it, just go back to the beginning of this video and you'll see the bus that came in. So we did perfect timing on that. And I don't know how many buses come through a day here. Vans here. Definitely seems suspect to me. There's people in those rooms, folks. 
There's people in those rooms. I personally saw people in those windows. So they are, they're in there. Are they being held captive? How long do they have to stay here? Where do they go from this point? Why are they coming here? Why are buses uh, full of migrants that cross the United States illegally coming to this Ramada Inn? Why? Look at this. Why are they coming to this location? How much is the hotel getting? It's like real shady stuff. The entire building is surrounded by 10 feet fencing, makeshift fencing where you can't see. The entire building. How much money is being involved here? Now remember, Catholic Charities, if they're part of running this, which it's being reported that Catholic Charities is running this operation here, they're an NGO and they're, they're getting funded through the federal government and also private donors. Believe that they've received more than a billion dollars. So they have a lot of deep pockets getting subsidized through the federal government for this type of operation if it's true going on here people oh Hollis just said they said school events? Are you serious? Did they say, did they actually, uh, we have one of our members, Hollis, said that she just called here and they said that they're blocked or they're booked because of school events? Are you kidding me? They're lying, huh? School events. School events. No, we didn't see school events. We saw a bus school of families with handcuffs on those buses, luggage, and people showing paperwork in order to enter this hotel. Look at this, Uber, there's an Uber. Somebody might have called an Uber here. Hollis said the pause was priceless. Look at this. What's going on here? Secret facility. Secret facility. secret facility. Got to show paperwork and credentials to even get into a Ramada Inn. Fencing for a school event? I think not. So Ramada's lying.
So now on JLR Investigates, we have this location on the list to keep monitoring, and we will continue to do so. If, if you just came on, look at the beginning of this video, a bus full of migrants backed up into here. They got loaded out. Looked like there was families. A lot of them had masks and um, a beer out here. Beer. I think this guy is an Uber, so. I'd like to see who comes out. If anyone comes out. She told them there was two people ready to come out. And they're walking back in. You can get a great view of what's going on right there. All right, so we are monitoring the situation at the Ramada Suite, another location. Earlier today, I was at a property belonging to the San Diego School District that is also migrants are coming in and out of that property. It's the 4100 block of University right next to the freeway. Polk Street is in back of there, and that is another, uh, that's operated by an NGO, SBCB, I believe, SBCS or something, SB, someone uh, clarify what that name of that organization is. I always get confused with that acronym, it's four letters. Yeah, South Bay Community Services. Thank you. So we'll, we'll figure out what the other um, ones are. This is a fluid situation for us. I just think in real time, we're looking into this together. And if you have any tips or information. Hi. He waved. Security guy waved. Hola. Yeah, they waved. Public sidewalk. Yeah, free Wi-Fi too. They at, uh, at the uh, school, they get free Wi-Fi. Looks like a lot of them have clothes. They get passes to go out. What in the world is going on here in San Diego? What in the world is going on out here in San Diego? All right, so I'm headed to the airport and other locations, folks. Uh, if you have any tips or information, I'm, I'm going to be going along the border. Um, it's wild stuff, man. You gotta admit, this is wild. Have you ever seen a hotel totally shut down for migrants? Well, now you get to see one for the first time on JLR Investigates. And stay tuned to the channel. Share this. So we got to get this information out there. Relay things to the public. This is for educational purposes, reporting purposes, uh, public interest. I'll be keep reading your comments. All right, up, folks. I'm out.
I'll be back in a bit. JLR Investigates. Everyone be safe.